I know. Another mother casting website. <laughs> oh, Hi, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas Day 8. I can't believe it's December 8th. Did I say December 8th earlier? It's December 9th. <laughs> Today we are going to create yet another casting website account. It is Cast It Talent. I've heard about them some. I checked them out on Instagram. Turns out 24 of my friends follow them, including Casting Networks themselves. I don't know if Casting Networks owns this. I know Casting Networks owns Casting Frontier. I'm gonna create an account and this is you and me creating an account, learning about Cast It Talent. So I'm gonna make an account and see what it's about. Do I know if it's legit? Do I know if it's not? Not yet, but I've heard about this from enough people in the industry that I trust that I was like, you know what, let's make an account and see what what I think. So we are going to experience this together for the first time. Unless you already know about Casted Talent, then let me know whatever you know, because we're here to learn. Agent sign up, actor sign up, post roles. This is already a great sign because advertisements, I don't see some crazy advertisements on this page of be famous, get on our website and be famous, which is always a red flag. Like let your work speak, speak for itself kind of thing as far as I'm concerned. Agent sign up, that's great because if there's agents that represent people, it's great that we know that they're using this. I mean, you know, that at least there's a place for them to sign in. Actor sign up, okay, that would be me. And post roles, cool. Um, Let's look, oh, actor discounts. Ah, okay, this is a self-tape audition service. That's cool. So if you are a member of Cast It Talent, you can get discounts in all these places, which only makes Cast It Talent look better to me because that means there are companies who believe in Cast It Talent enough who want to advertise on their platform and not a huge advertisement in the uh, homepage kind of deal, but in a discount way. Okay, I'm definitely gonna look into those later. About us, read what people are saying about cast it when the new york times hollywood reporter cast it talent was started by cast it systems founder eric hayes and chris gantos this is great that we know who who made this well this is good that we have a name so we can do more research of this in the future today I'm just gonna look over a little bit and create an account but i love that we can google people because it tells you who even made this and why they made it click here for a partial list of projects that are using or have used to cast it. Ah, 24, 300, bad teacher, bridesmaids. This does not mean that they only used to cast it to get all those actors. This means cast it talent was one of the people they used. Because a lot of these websites that uh, we all have access to, the casting calls will be distributed in different ways. So maybe they will only release the smaller roles, the people that have five lines or less, or extras roles, stuff like that. Things that they aren't able to find, somebody very specific, like somebody who can ride a skateboard on rollerblades, or something like that. You know, if they can't find it, then they will just release it to the masses and be like, who can do this? Cast It Talent was launched in 2008. Cast It was a different website and now Cast It Talent is for talent. Look like the lights are about to go out. Okay, anyways, let's uh, cast our photos. Oh, I think they might have a YouTube channel. Do they? They do. Okay, we are going to watch this later. But right now what I want to do is look at their membership. Annual Pro membership. It's $15 a month if you pay for the annual membership. So that's 22% discount or it's $19 per month pretty much the same as most casting websites. Let's see if we can sign up without paying. I already have an account on Cast It Talent. I probably made this account a long time ago just to see what it was like because my older headshot is on here. Okay, let me figure out this whole password and then we can log in. No, I did not just take like a five hour break because I had an acting class and I had to eat dinner. I did not do that. Yes, I was able to log on and find my password. 
Um, so, and I realized why I have an account. So first, uh, on the, on the homepage, you can see that they have different, uh, roles here. So the first one says role is a cop. The project slash episode is 408, um, test role. And of course you have to, uh, log on to get the rest of the information. A lot of these websites, um, when they do post casting things, they will have, a message saying that they are copywritten. So if there's anything like that, of course, just like in any other video, I'm not going to share that information, but I can tell you the type of things in general that are on these casting websites. So you can decide if you um, want to make an account. Okay, so earlier when I was able to log in, I put my updated photo. So now I'm going to delete this one. Okay. So it looks like for photos, we're good. The resume I haven't complete. Oh yeah. I did a PDF of my resume. Okay, cool. So I have a PDF of my resume. I have my headshot and video. It says upgrade now. So just like a lot of websites, it asks you to pay in order to be able to do this. Let's quickly go through the buttons on the top here. So profile, I haven't finished my profile. Oh, let me tell you why I even had this account already. So I'm going to go to history. And I did the free form casting talent search. So this was back in May. If you guys go back to my videos in May, I did a video about this because I found out about this. I found out about it right before they closed it, which isn't so great because at this point they have gotten thousands and thousands of submissions. That is why I have a cast it talent. And I wasn't sure at the beginning if this was even legitimate, this casting website, because I always had this doubt of why do they do these huge open casting calls and I honestly don't have any concrete way to prove it um but I do know somebody that I worked with before who not in this specific one in freeform but uh she submitted to a different open casting call it was a diversity casting call that was an open call and she did get cast through it so at least I know somebody in real life that has been hired through an open casting call maybe they'll do this again for next year so i would suggest um keeping an eye out and around may of next year seeing if they do it again because usually when big companies like this do an open call it tends to be at the same time of the year i know disney channel has done it a few times i don't think they're doing it this year just because they would have already announced it um nickelodeon also usually does it once a year and it doesn't look like they have any kind of free 30 days or anything like that like backstage does most casting websites don't really have sales i know i just got imdb for a hundred dollars for a whole year because they were having a black friday cyber monday sale but most casting websites don't tend to have sales because they don't need it okay okay let's let's just let's just start let's go through all of the tabs at the top so my profile here is my profile like i said i would need to pay more money in order to upgrade to upload videos i have my resume and my photo so the package it looks like as your info photos videos resume so all about you talent rep this is of course where you would put your representation the roles tab is where you can find the casting uh notices so here is one i only have access to one based off of the free account oh and here's my free form audition so it has the video my resume and that information search actors i'm assuming the search actors is only available for the casting teams because it's not letting me uh search anything is just letting me come up so who can join cast it talent cast it talent is open to both union and non-union actors as well as represented and unrepresented talent this just anybody can join not just la and new york but the thing is that if you are in a different place and they're only posting jobs for la i don't know i don't have access to the um to the paid account if enough of you are really interested in the paid account but of course i wouldn't just get one month of the membership i would like to get a whole year so then i can really look at it long term the kind of castings that are distributed to actors specifically on this website and do a little bit more research of is it a lot of la jobs is it a lot of um new york jobs how much does it cost okay here has a good information about cost um so the pro membership is 19 dollars a month or 180 dollars for the year and you're able to upload and host up to 10 gigs of videos headshots and resumes submitting to all the roles in your roles tab is free 
Cool. Submitting your videos for feedback, one per one free per month for pro members. Basic members, ten dollars per submission. They have feedback on the self tape auditions. Submitting to the bi monthly showcase. Oh, there was an ad at the front of the, at the home page about paying five hundred dollars in order to get agents to see your your work to showcase you. That I would want to do a lot more research and see who actually is watching them because I don't want my showcase that I pay five hundred dollars for to just be email blast to every casting director that is comes on to cast a talent because it can just go into their spam folder so i have no idea about that so that i would definitely want to do more research i want to know more about feedback this would be interesting to try so it's saying that you can either submit a self tape audition or a clip for your reel that's seven minutes or less and you will get quote unquote professional feedback from somebody. It doesn't say specifically who it is. It says a casting professional who is currently working on a studio feature film um, or television series will be providing feedback directly to you. So that's $10 per submission, but if you have the paid account, you get the first one for free, and then after that, it would be $10. So I would be interested in this just to see how helpful it actually is. You really want somebody that you trust giving you feedback, um, so it really just depends on who is giving the feedback in this. But that's that's a cool, that's a really good idea, especially for people that are just getting into it and really know, don't know anybody. It's a really great way to get some feedback and $10 isn't that much. So if it wasn't helpful, then it was only $10. Let's take a look at this um, showcase. Did they stop doing this? Because welcome actors to our 2018 February online showcase. Yeah, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say they stopped doing this because the deadline for this one was March 31st, 2018. So I'm just gonna skip that because it doesn't seem relevant anymore. Oh, is there an option to have a free basic membership? To sign up for a basic account, please go to this link without filling out anything else on the page, click log in with Facebook button at the bottom of the page. Oh, so here it says that if you have a paid membership as an actor and you are creating something on your own as well, you can actually cast through Cast It Talent for free. Sure, 15 minute pictures done. Wait, 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 wait. Is Cast It Talent owned by Casting Networks because they have free profile photos uh photos as well and they're describing it the same way as i did um studio shots with la casting they're 15 minutes you can get two a year if you have the pro membership the one that is for the whole year and jennifer helped me with my with my studio shots with, at la casting and then clay is the same photographer let me google it this would make a lot of sense since when i went on instagram basically all of the casting networks instagram accounts were following cast it talent i'm so confused so casting frontier casting networks and casting talent are all owned by the same company <laughs> cast it and casting networks la casting have joined forces what does this mean for you <laughs> okay so here it says why do i need a cast it talent profile right now. Casted is where 90% of the studio and major independent productions view actor auditions with video and demo reels. Okay, so just based off of the fact that casting networks and casted talent have joined forces, then I already feel that casted talent is a you know, a legitimate place that I can look into in the future. And again, just like my actor's access video, I already know there's going to be a part two to this because I'm not really going to be able to use all of these casting websites to their full capacity until I finally get my agents in LA because I really don't want to pay for yet another membership and not benefit from it greatly. Well, that was really interesting. I always like looking at new casting websites because I want to know if they're worth 
getting an account with. I wouldn't say to get a casted talent account right now because I was not able to fully get a lot of information on this website, but uh, I would just say keep it in mind, keep it in your radar. Like I said, I have an account with them because uh, Freeform did an open casting call last year. So if you guys want to do that, and that's the way that you create this account, set up your profile. So then again, once you do have an agent and they're using this, then, then you can already have your account or and if you are an actor and also some kind of filmmaker or creator, you can get this account and be able to do your casting through here as well. But just the fact that they are affiliated with casting networks makes me feel a lot more comfortable with cast it talent. Um, but I need more experience with this website. So I will um, do another video of this in the future once I am actually using it. Let me know if you have any additional questions about this specifically that you want me to look into. I'll probably not get an account, a paid account for this until um, 2021, but I wanted to look into it because once I saw so many of my actor friends were following them on Instagram, I was like, okay, what's going on? What am, what am I missing? If there's any other websites that you want me to look into, let me know. I will put it on my to-do list. I have lots and lots of videos that I want to get through and a lot of casting websites that I want to review. In general, it does take a lot of time to see if things are worth it. It depends so much on where you live. So should you get this website in particular? I don't know because I don't know where you live. It does depend a lot on where you live. What you need to do is research what jobs are around you. If nobody's filming around you, then it's going to be likely that you should not get any of these casting websites because you're not going to be able to apply for these jobs. If you're brand new to acting, I always say Backstage is a great place to start if you're new because there are so many short films, student films, indie films, web series that are cast through Backstage and that website is just very appealing to, to the newer audience and I know a lot of schools use Backstage as well. Um, so I hope you like this and let me know what other websites you're interested in and I will add them to my list. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to close down today's video here and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 10. Oh my goodness. At the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video and leave me a comment.